Okay, now we're going to start um, with the first board in the chassis, which is for the bias control. It's a very small board, as you can see, and there's a plan for it. Uh, you should already have your pot in place. Um, so go ahead and get your components ready. There's a resistor, a diode, and a capacitor in this particular model. And make sure you're, um, you've got your board oriented right so that these will fit in place. And it's just a matter of populating the board. And uh, be sure you've got your diode set right, that you have it uh, facing the right direction. And then with your capacitor in place, we have the board populated. And you can see how we've made our connections that we need to make in the back. And then we're going to have one wire that's going to go out to our pot. So you can refer to your chassis and measure it out to see how long of a piece of wire you need. And then we're going to get that in place. And then there's a couple of other wires that also go out um, to other places on the circuit board. Once you've got them in place, go ahead and start soldering those eyelets in. And again, even on a board this small, I'm going to make a connection and I'm going to highlight it in. You know, it, can, it just takes one missed solder joint to absolutely do some damage to your amplifier. So just, you can see how we're referring back and forth between this plan and what we're actually uh, constructing. Then you just want to continue on and get the other uh, joint soldered in. Highlighting them as you go. And you'll find out through the course of building this amp, it is a process of double checking everything you do. Put a connection in, double check it, make sure it's right before you move on. Now that last connection I actually leave open because we're not ready to tie that in yet. And then we're going to go ahead and just trim up our loose ends there clean up the board everything except that one like I said that we leave open that's going to connect to a, a fixed wire that's already in there and then the bias board we're actually going to place it uh, right next to the transformer you'll see there's a bias um, output wire that's the one that we didn't have in place just make sure you've got the right wire this is the red and striped one and it connects there on the end of the board and then you can see that's the little area where this bias board is mounted it's a little tricky spot to get in there uh, especially to get it in there and get the screw in place so just take your time and make sure you uh, don't break anything getting it in there so here I've just kind of measured it out sort of placed it in where it's going to go to see how long this wire needs to be and then I'll dress the end of this and get that last connection made
and then solder that in place and trim off your uh, excess wire there and then put your backing fiberboard back of course this just keeps the wires on the back from making contact with the chassis and then mount that in place and you've got your ends that can go to the uh, bias pot and uh, while we're at it we'll just go ahead and make that connection now you can see it uh, actually connects to two of the posts on the on the pot and then we're just going to highlight that in that we've made that connection and by the way the plans from the website are a lot more detailed than what you're seeing here uh, I'm just using a little set just for uh, purposes of a display in the video.